Hi, I'm Representative Jennifer Balcom from Henderson County. All across our nation, female athletes are being forced to compete against transgender males in sports. It is undeniable that these female athletes are being robbed of success in their respective sports and are being subject to emotional distress and in some cases, serious physical injury. This week, we passed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act. This bill would prohibit students from playing on middle school, high school, and college teams designated for the opposite sex. This will ensure that female athletes are protected from the negative emotional and physical consequences that so many have been forced to endure by competing in sports with biological males. This common sense bill, which promotes fairness and equal opportunity for all student athletes, also clearly prioritizes safety. We want all students to have the chance to benefit from the experience of competing in athletics, to learn about self-discipline and problem solving and teamwork, and to develop lifelong skills. It is simply a scientific reality that biological males are equipped with physical characteristics in both size and function that put them in a position of indisputable physical advantage over female athletes. A recent meta-analysis of more than 20 years of data on hormone therapy demonstrates that even after 36 months, biological advantages remain in muscle mass and composition and overall strength. This bill simply acknowledges that fact, and in doing so, it ensures that biological females have a level playing field to showcase their talents and achieve their dreams. The Fairness in Women's Sports Act is a common sense bill that preserves equal opportunity for women in competitive athletics, a right so many people fought so hard to achieve over decades. Forcing women to compete against biological males erases hard-fought gains for equal opportunity for women. As a mom of two teenagers who are both competitive athletes, I stand with parents and athletes on this issue and with the strong majority of North Carolinians and Americans who agree that forcing women to compete against biological men is wrong. As the mom of athletes, I know that years of preparation, hard work, and support from an athlete's support system goes into developing a competitive athlete. Records, rankings, qualifying spots all matter in athletic competition. It is only right that we protect the integrity of women's sports and keep the level of play fair and equal for women. In North Carolina, we refuse to let the personal choices of few outweigh the rights and safety of thousands. This bill will protect our female athletes and maintain a fair, competitive environment for our athletes across the state. The three of us are very proud to lead North Carolina in this effort. As always, thank you for the opportunity to serve and God bless.